RJV and today I'm going to show you how to export your projects from machine into any doll. Any doll you want. It's uh, pretty easy. This was a question a subscriber had. He was having trouble um, exporting his project from machine into another doll for I guess mixing reasons and you really can't mix a machine so I bet everyone does this. It's pretty cool how to do this. I didn't know how to do this. I just figured it out on my own. And it's awesome. So if you want to know how to export your machine projects to any doll, um, Bitwig, Ableton, Logic, any of those, let's do it. Doll of choice, Bitwig Studio. Okay, so you see I have a machine right here. Okay, so <clears throat> I just, uh, this is a project that was already made in machine, like a demo template project. It sounds pretty cool. I really like the sound. I'll let you listen to it. All right, we are going to export this project, that machine, somebody, into Bitwig. So what you're going to want to do is this up right here, this is called like your loop indicator, I guess. Like this bar right here, that's how far your loop will go. So you want it to go to the very end of the track you got set up in machine. So it's set right there. If you have it, like say you had it on 35, you will not get the rest of scene 9 or 10. It just will not happen. And I know it sucks, but you got to pay attention to that. So what we're going to do is go up to export, go to file, go to export audio. See right here, you're going to want to check mark all of these because it's every instrument. Um, actually, these are the groups and this is the instrument inside. And then this is like... It, if you want that EQ, you can have it. You can take it off, take off these strings, whatever you want. Just check mark what you want. You'll probably want everything because you're going to want the whole project. The source is sound, range, all. You can split by section. Like you can split it into uh, like scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four, scene five. But you're not going to want to do that unless yours, you want it split into scenes. So like you can give them away as stems, I guess. You can do it that way. You can pick your uh, bit depth, 16, your type, keep it as wave, sample rate, 44, 100 hertz. And then right here, I got confused. I was like, where, why can I not <laughs> find it? It's because I was putting it in my exports in a machine. But for this uh, tutorial, we're just going to put it in the desktop. So choose the desktop, name it. It's called blow and we are going to press export and it is going to export everything in the project into stems. And then I will show you how you can just drag it into any doll and it'll be all tracked out. It's pretty amazing. Pretty cool. It keeps all the EQs unless you turn them off. Um, you can turn off the EQs, turn them back on. You can do it by the sections like I told you. So what we're going to do now is turn this and mute machine. We're going to go down here to uh, the the folder below and I am going to drag these files all the way from the first one to the last one so we're just dragging 24 of these nice samples over here and when you drag them in you're going to want to uh hold over the mouse like I did just there until they all load in. It takes a few seconds, but yeah, you'll figure it out. And then um, the thing is when they come in here, um, like in Ableton, they'll be off a little. See the tempo, it's at 100. My BPM is my at 100, but sometimes they'll say like 90. They'll say like 80. I don't know why. See like this one, this one says 134 BPM, the tempo. Um, you're going to want to change that. To change them all at once, you just click the top one, go all the way to the bottom, highlight that, and then, hello, Milo, how are you? And then you go to uh, 100, and it will change every single one of them to 100 um, BPM, like your template. And then we will press play, and we should get the exact same project as we were listening to in Machine. <laughs> And that's how you export your machine projects into another doll. And it is that easy and it it's just sounds good. It uh, really helps you out for mixing and adding more effects. After I figured out how to do this, I feel more like I feel like I should be making more stuff in machine since it's that easy. 
And uh, I hope you guys found this useful, and I will catch you later. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, leave a like, put a comment down below, tell me what you think about this. And hopefully I helped that subscriber had asked about this. Uh, hopefully this was what you were looking for, and I hope it helped. And tell me what you think, pretty much. Like, do you guys, did you already know this? Like, half the people, I feel like, know a bunch of stuff. <laughs> you know, music is crazy. You just, you learn throughout the years or just doing it and it's pretty awesome and i really enjoy just learning music making music and i hope you guys have a great week